YouTube, so today I will be unboxing the Bachman Master Train Builders in HO scale. It's super heavy weight. It's from the Montana Classics. It's a wooden vintage freight car. 1860s log car, as you can see. Um, here's the other locomotives it comes with. Um, I'm looking to try and, like, find that one and that one, because those are both kind of sexy. They're both cool. So, we're going to go ahead and unbox this, so give me a second, and we will be right back. And it should be sitting on the tracks. Okay, we are back. Let me go ahead and move this. You get, like, a fifth tour of my closet for a second while I take this and go put it away. So, um, I got this for Christmas. I took it out once, and then for some reason just, like, put it back in the box for storage. Hooray. All right, Lucky. I dropped the box. So, let's go. Just in case, I've only started, like, this, like, recently, but these are all my add-ons. The rest of them have been, have been, like, given to me, and I've gotten at the train show. But otherwise, I try and keep the boxes. So that way, if we end up, like, moving or something happens, I can put them in. As you can see, Montana Classics, Bachman Silver Series gr Rainbow Green Car, Conrail Packaging, and Walter's Mainline Conrail Caboose. The locomotive's bigger. I'm surprised that the caboose just has, like, this freaking big thing, you know? Oh, here's one of my coaches I built. HO scale. I have one out here, but it, like, derailed because I built it. It's not, like, a real one, so. See, so we got it on the track. It is right now. So I'm getting made out of popsicle sticks. It's about as big as your Amtrak Atlas. Um, give me a second. I sh I'll be right back. Like I said, I had a derailment, so I wish I'll be right back. It'll be taken care of in three, two, one. Okay, it is taken care of. Oh, I knocked down one of my trees. Excuse me. There we go. Hello, hello, Stuffy Mountain. <laughs> Stuffy Mountain. Stuffy Mountain. Um, this is the one that, that came in that box. That Silver Series box. So, we're going to go and put this one with it. But, along with this caboose. But first... Oh, yeah. This one I got the trend show. This one is the unboxing. We're going to pull up with a Union Pacific GP30-2, number 2056. And we can see how it holds up. We'll do it on the circle track. And then we'll go and switch the switches. So, let's go and switch you there. See how it looks. And see. Okay. So let's go full speed and see how she does. Sorry for the bad video quality if there is any. It looks like it runs pretty nice on the circle track. Let's go ahead and use our spectrum remote and we will bring it up and do the switch back here i know why i always like to make sure you guys can see my switches at least the best you can oh there we go go concentrate on the camera i was like uh now i can't um just you wonder about it is there's like little dinosaurs in there it's a museum let's go and get started cranky crane again then we'll just like see what it's made out of We'll see what it's made out of. We'll see what you're made out of. And right off the bat, something's up. So let's see. Oh, maybe it's like, uh, ooh, maybe it, uh, he's derailed. Thanks a lot. Give me a sec, we'll be right back. Okay, so maybe it's like one of those pop-on wheels. Let's see. Come here, Mr. Loco. Big Loco. Just like all I have to hold it up so it doesn't fall back. It actually holds pretty well. Then you have like a bridge in there. So like, Yo ho, it's a pirate ship. Not pirate ship, I don't know. It looks like it's Spanish with flats. Anyway, that the ship right there, I'm sorry. I'm just going off again. I'll, I'll probably just like edit this part out, but if I don't, let me know in the comments because sometimes I get like distracted. So come here, you little stink pot. Oh. 
Oh, there it is. I was looking over, I was looking at this track, and I was like, where is it? And I look, I was like, oh, it's on the black track. I'm sorry for that. I didn't notice. Oh, in case you wonder what this here is. It's just like a little shunting around part of my trains, but I don't want to have to go put them back in my closet. I'm too lazy. Too lazy. There we go. Hopefully we don't break it, but, you know. It's in, like, the 1850s. Maybe, like, the 1850s when I have, like, track that looks like 1850s track to fit it. So, maybe that's why. So, we're just going to go and couple them back up. And give me a sec. We should be right back. We're back to our controller in three, two, one. And we are back. So, let's go and get going. Oh, there's where I was just now. Hey. Let's see if he holds up. That curve up there, I can have some problems when it comes, like, coupling. Oh, we made it through that. Perfect. Uh, Blinky Bridge. My brother got that for me. He's like eight years old. He's really nice. He got me that bridge for my birthday. He was already all set and everything. He tried to look back together. We're going to try that up there again. If it doesn't work, I'll just know, hey, don't put on the switches, you know? Well, let's see. Moment of truth. Bam, bam, ba bam, bam. Maybe if we do, like, slowly. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, that's like a pink pad up there. And we are back, YouTube. So now it's time to go over it and see if it like what it comes with, take it all apart and all that. So as you can see, it comes with three. Easy made logs. They all look the same. So they all look exactly like the same. So I'm just gonna take one, show you one, because they all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same, so I'm just gonna like show you a little bit of it. They all look the same, but there we go. You can see this guy is item number four seven nine five. And he's, it's from the Pennsylvania Railroad. You can see P, period, R, period, R, period. Ish, I'm a, I can only imagine that W and the T right there, that smaller stuff, is like for weight. So weight is 15,400 pounds. That must be like wooden hold. He logs weigh 15,400 pounds. I don't know. So there we go. Got the logs, and so let's go ahead and take the logs off and see. So I will be right back after I've disassembled the locomotive. I mean, rolling stock. It'll be ready in three, two, one. Okay, we're back. So as you can see, it turns out it was pop-off trucks. The way you know you have a good quality cars if they're like ones that screw on and off. But I'm fine with having pop-off, pop-on, pop-off ones, just as long as like the way it's good enough and they don't like screw around this one so far has been pretty good maybe that's why i derailed it there though and so as you can see mantua see how focus that's what it says right here it says mantua m-a-n-u t let me start again m-a-n-t-u-a -A. mantua or mantua or, yeah so <laughs> i'm sorry so, pop on trucks, the couplers can easily come out and in right here. Anyway, so, we'll go on, let me go ahead and put it back together. So, it should be done in about 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, he is back on the tracks. People... Um, let me go and couple up to him, and then we'll go and couple up to some more rolling stock. We should be ready in three, two, one. And we are back. So, maybe the reason that guy doesn't work is because not only does it have, like, the pop-on, pop-out, but that switch up there, if you look closely, you'll see it's kind of elevated. Not only is it, like, on popsicle stick, but, like, where it kind of curves out over here and it gets connected right there, it kind of just goes like, uh, like that. So, maybe that's why. And the cars just like screw it i'm just gonna go and do around the circle piece track and then i'll show you guys like how that this here works um hello yeah hey. what happened what 
and the heck happened? I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, turns what it was is the caboose derailed up there. So, I fixed it. I tested it a few times, and it's working again. So, I'm going to think maybe, because I'm not saying up here is bad, but, like, it's kind of, like, wacky. Not, like, wacky is in, like, unloving and all bad, but, like, I have, like, all these switches and everything, so it's kind of a lot more complicated to work, but it works fine. You just got to know how. So, we're going to try and run it down here where that my uh, on my underground railroad because there's not like three or four switches only one switch and it's mostly just like curves and stuff and it works better on curves so we'll on try it down here so give me a sec we should have it set up in again three two one okay we are back so we're gonna go ahead and get started oh um if you're wondering why i have like black and silver pieces i prefer black but when mr rose gave me all the silver track on the amtrak Atlas, it was all silver, so every single piece of silver track I have was given to me. So it kind of helped me to get my get up here like done and completed. Then Christmas came, then I had more spare track. The more spare track I had, so every single piece down here is all I have spare track. And so let's go and get running, cause I'm I only have like two minutes left, maybe three. And this remote's not working. We want to use this one, cause this one here powers this layout. This one here does up here. Go on and get him running. So we've seen model-like views. So he looks like he's running pretty good. We're gonna slow him down. I'm gonna slow him down a bit. Oh, let's see what happens. Give me a sec, I'm sorry, I'll be right back. I'll be back in three, two, one. Okay, we are back, so let's go and try the game. This one, we're gonna go slower. When you think of it, every single train or real stock, if you have them go full speed on it from my curves, they will derail. So we're going to go and have them go, say, half speed. So there he's going about half speed right now. And we're going to get down to where it looks like he's life size. You got to admit, that really looks life size. If we were to put like a few more train cars, it would actually look like life size. So you see, now he goes around my battleships. We'll be right back. I'm going to install some lighting under there. I will be right back in three, two, one. Little thing I've learned, I would not recommend this to anyone who wants to put it at the front of the train. Because it's not the good, it's not like the best. So, um, I will be right back. Let me install some lighting. I'm so sorry. Give me a sec. Okay, so our so-called lighting is a flashlight. Come to think of it, we're going to want the lights on. There, now I'll shine it back here. We're... We'll need some help, so as you can see, it kind of helps. I get my hands in the way, so I'll just kind of like move it like that, so you can see it. So let's let's go a. So very slow. See, so there it goes. I have the most problems up there. Maybe it's just like hitting the desk. Oh, he made it! He made it! Anyway, so, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back probably sometime later today or tomorrow with a whole new video on model railroadings and stuff. So, this here is Texas Loop Crane. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you liked it, what I could have done differently. Or if you have this product. Uh, if you have that rolling stock product, please let me know if there's any ways I could maintain it differently. And it might, and your some of your ideas might work out, some might not. We don't know. Anyway, so I will see you guys later. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you want more videos. If you want anything to be showcased, I will try my best to get it, and I will try to showcase it the best I can. So, this here is Texas Ukraine signing out. Bye-bye.